Good morning. Today we're gonna do a get my life together day. It is Sunday, happy Sunday. And we're just gonna make it real, realistic, raw. It is what it is, we're getting our life together. And sometimes it's not perfect, you know? So I'm gonna show it all. I need to do a tongue scraper. It has been a long week, and today I just really need a reset day. This house is a disaster. I'm about to go to Zumba. Zane is coming home today, he's been gone since Thursday. So upsetting, we're gonna tongue scrape. I don't think you wanna see that though, but you go from the back and scrape down, and it's gross. It gets so much stuff off of your tongue. Like that, it gross. Hold on. Ugh. Yuck. Okay. Well, let's go take our birth control because I've already snoozed the alarm twice. And that's just how it is today. <laughs> if I got pregnant from snoozing my birth control alarm twice, that would just be something else. Mm -hmm. Good morning. <laughs> okay, Um, I have to hurry my ass up because it's already 9.15. Class starts at 9.45, and uh, yeah, I gotta still go to drive there. Okay. Ordered the Aura Ring. I decided on a size 8 so it can fit on these two fingers. This finger, it fits loosely, but at least the pointer is recommended so it fits on there, and then I can wear it on the middle. But if I got a 7, it would only fit nicely on this finger, and on these, it would be tight. So I figured I'd have more options with the 8. For now, though, for Zumba, I'm just gonna wear my Apple Watch today. I kind of want to switch the band, but we don't know nobody got time for that. Okay. Okay, let's go. The hair just desperately needs a wash today. Oh, I'm about to take my wearing supplements and you guys are on my water. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Probiotic, birth control, cranberry. Grateful. What are you grateful for today? Why I took you guys off the tripod? Oh, because I needed to put a new SD card in and I didn't put you back. Sorry. What are we grateful for today? Uh, my family. I love my family. Uh, nice weather and reset days. I'm also for my group of my cats, my, my family and my cats. Okay, grateful, it's done. Check it off the list. Let's get into some workout clothes. Oh, I took my birth control. Okay. Um, I need a supportive bra because my birth control makes my boobs hurt so bad. Like they just feel bruised. This is a good one. It happened with the first pack on like the first two weeks and then it went away and now it's back. So. This is fun. I'm gonna wear this little tank top, some leggings, easy peasy. Okay, we are dressed. Yesterday, I got home from my drive from Atlantic City and I literally just had to take a body shower and run out the door because I had other things to do. So I still have not washed my hair from the beach, which is just like great. It's, it's not bad, honestly, <laughs> if we're being honest. Um, it's just greasy, dirty, you know? But I straightened it the other day, so it's still holding up pretty well. Let's put on my jewelry. I can't wait to get my aura ring. I'm so excited for that. Oh, the drama. I'm gonna put on my hoopty hoops. Oh, that was not a good sound. I didn't like that. Okay, uh, socks. Wow, I have got to go. Oh, I used one on deodorant and perfume. Okay, the deodorant is in here. I used my purse as a travel thing. I need to get all my travel bags and stuff together, especially since I'm gonna be traveling so much in these next few months. Like starting September to March of next year, I'm traveling every single month except for November, which is absurd. So um, I definitely need to get my travel stuff together, like order like good packing cues, like organizing stuff because it's just hot mess. Like we have so many travel bags, but like nothing makes sense and they're all kind of small. I don't know. I just need to go through what we have and like get good stuff, you know? Sorry, the light was off. <laughs> I'm always like in dim lighting. I think I'm gonna do like a little half up with a clip. My hair's already dirty, so I don't care if it gets all sweaty today. It needs to be washed. Quick little face moisturizer. Ah, oh, I'm so excited to be back into routine. If you guys watched the last few vlogs, literally I was home on Wednesday. Other than that, I was like pretty much gone every day. Look at my scam from the raft boat that me and my dad did when we were in Pennsylvania. It's like scamming off now. That is a battle wound. And I'm usually not competitive, but I was like, not falling off that raft. <laughs> There's my size eight aura ring. It just fits the best on these two fingers. This finger, it's a little big, but I can get like a sizer thing. I don't know what it went out. I really like the sensors. Look what we need to do today. <laughs> 
you would think I'm like disgusting. I swear I'm not. It is the result of my addiction of self tanning and putting tanner all over my face right before I go to bed. And I just don't care because it comes off in the wash. So I just wash my sheets when it gets gross, you know? And I do like the big wash of all the sheets, you know, every so often. But I'll like take off my pillowcase and just wash those because those tend to get like the grossest. And then the inside of our blanket gets it from sleeping. But you just, you know, fold it over. Zane doesn't mind. <laughs> It's just the result of self tanning, but it's fine. Today we will wash all the sheets because we are definitely due. Zane's coming home. It's gonna be a nice fresh start to the week. Purse, sunglasses. You already know. I'm bringing my ice roller for my drive to the gym. Perfect. Needs a little refill. That was me blowing off the cinnamon sugar that I got on top of my cup from my Annie Ann's pretzels that I ate on my drive home yesterday. That didn't need a refill literally at all. Like, okay. And that's just real life. If you aren't blowing cinnamon sugar off the top of your sippy cup on a Sunday morning, did you even have a weekend? You know what I mean? Okay, I'm leaving. I'm going to Zumba, I'm getting my car washed because that's the greatest way to start a Sunday. Good morning, mugs. I'll be right back, okay? Be right back, Benj. Yeah, I will, promise. Big stretch. <laughs> Oh god, this house needs to clean so bad. Okay, well, I'm going to leave and my sneakers are in here, so off to a good start. I guess by showing you like a real, like, realistic Sunday reset in my life, I guess I'll just end up keeping in all like the bloopers pretty much because that's the stuff that I put at the end and then I edit the vlog to make it look like, you know, it's perfect. <laughs> not perfect. I'm not perfect. Not that I ever show that I'm perfect. Like, let's be honest. But I edit out the little mistakes to make it seem like... Everything went smoother than it did, so today we're just gonna show it all throughout the vlog. Goodbye, cats. Look at all three of them. Zane took a friggin' air mattress out of his trunk that he's had in the trunk for literally who knows how long. Okay, that's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, well, it is a gorgeous day. Just left the house though, and look, fuzz. Cat hair and fuzz all over my pants. Like, how did that even just happen? I need a lint licker. So you just go like this, get it all in a little pile. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, hot. Oh my God, is it gonna be nice out today? I think we have to get our stuff done quick and go by the pool. <gasps> when Zane gets home, we go by the pool, that would be nice. There's literally sand all over my car too from yesterday. Oh my God. Okay, after we get our car wash, we're gonna have to go to the vacuum. Look at this. Can you guys see the sand? Look at the fuzz and the sand everywhere. Oh my God, it's 9.32, we're gonna be late. Goodbye. We are back home, Zumba is done. My car looks beautiful now. I put a nice fresh air freshener that always makes it so good. Um, let me get my sheets in the washing machine, get that going. I need to eat something, fuel myself up, and then I am motivated. I am ready to clean this damn house. So might as well get the sheets going though, you know what I mean? So let's do that, make some quick food. It's gonna be so fun, Bella. What a fun day. My favorite thing is washing the sheets on like the day where I'm gonna like wash my hair and be all nice and clean. The best combo. Okay, also part of getting my life together today is all the receipts that I have recently accumulated. I want to scan them into my Fetch app <laughs> so I can earn my points and then I can get rid of all these receipts that are taking up so much space in all my purses. You know what? I said that I was going to be honest 
with my Sunday reset day. So I wasn't gonna share this, but you know what? I opened the fridge and I was like, you know what all I want right now is just a potato bun. I don't even need anything on it. All what I wanna eat. So that's what I'm gonna have. Sometimes you just need to eat a potato bun. Oh my God, it's so good. Mmm. Maybe I'll spread a little, can't believe it's not butter on it. I'm gonna do just a little light spread of butter. Cold, both of these are cold, I didn't even toast it. Wow, that slaps so hard. Okay, I was still hungry, so I'm having an egg bite from Costco with some Cholula on it. Now we're really gonna start cleaning, okay? All right, I'm overwhelmed with where to start, so let's just start in the entryway. Cat litter. Cat food. Got a package from Seed. Let's see what they sent over. Yay, I got new containers. My travel vial broke and I was really upset about it. It fell out of the cabinet. And also actually I dropped this one. Oh, there's, there's Seed in here. You just get the monthly refills and then you fill your glass jar with it. But I actually dropped this and the lid cracked too. So actually perfect that they sent this. And I got another 30 day supply. Thank you Seed. Love you so mucho. Okay, this is the bag from my travel day yesterday. These chips are so spicy. Oh my God. And I've gotten better with spice, but, and I really wanted to eat them, but I was in the car, like heavy breathing. Nicole and I took a Polaroid on the beach yesterday. I never looked at it. Aw, <laughs> that's cute. Atlantic City memory. Gotta put that away, Gotta put this away. Oh, another receipt, I can scan. What else is in here? My earring, lotion, that's everything. Okay, put this in the closet. This has to be washed. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of stuff but put it in its designated room. So close. He was so close. Okay, this needs to go upstairs. Office is not too bad, just needs a quick little tidy up. Excuse me, you're in my way. I am just magic erasing my little mat here because it gets gross. Oh my God, I'm gonna have the best Monday ever. <laughs> like, I needed this so bad. Also some grossness on my chair. Little all-purpose cleaner, just wipe it down. Obviously, I'm doing the sheets right now, but bedroom is looking a little rough, so we just need to get her together. I've got our little cleaning cart out. If you guys don't do this on your cleaning days, you are missing out. It makes everything so much like easier and more convenient. So basically, I just got this three-tiered cart off of Amazon, and then all the cleaning supplies are on it, rags, and then all like vacuum attachments, mop things, a lint roller, chom chom, like all the stuff we would need to clean. And then we can just roll this around with us while we're cleaning. Love that. Something I have been wanting to do in here is this headboard. It's just like has some cat hair on it from them rubbing against it. So I think I'm gonna chom chom it. Okay, I actually don't think that these materials are going very well together. Let's try the lint roller. Kind of like embedded in this material. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> this is real life. The cat hair that's like stuck in there. I have one more device I can try. Hold on. I have this little thing. Oh. Yeah. Um. That's not really doing it either. Good. Everything's just stuck in the headboard. I mean, the charm charm is definitely doing something because it's getting caught in there, but. This is the best thing we're gonna get. This is what my nightstand looks like, Hot Mess Express, my Kindle holder, I mean case. Bunch of hair clips. Oh, it is dusty up here. 
This is my Aura Ring sizing kit. Chapstick always by the nightstand. I could use some right now. Everything is just gonna slide off of here so we can wipe it down. Ew. <laughs> Gross. Oh, so much better. I will save you guys from this one. I don't think you want to see it, but we've got a hairball stuck in the carpet. Good. This stuff is lovely. I've been using it for years. I also really like Folex, but for actual pet stains, I like to use this one. That could just be like a marketing thing, but hey, they got me, I guess. I just let it sit on there and then put the bottle on top of it. Let it really soak in, get the stain out. Zane's got a little bit of a mess over here, so we're just gonna tidy that up. One of the best things that I did, if you guys have a man that loves to like bring stuff to bed and always has like garbage on his nightstand, I got this little like 99 cent garbage bin. I don't even remember where I got this from. Maybe um, Hobby Lobby or something. I don't know, you can find them everywhere. Or Walmart actually, I think it was. Literally it was 98 cents. And it's just a little mini garbage pail, put it right next to his bedside and he will have way less clutter on his nightstand. We have a garbage in our bathroom, but to keep it like clean over here, I made it really easy for him and it has been the best thing. It saves so much mess. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Do we think that Zane needs a new jewelry box? <laughs> The cats sit on top of it and have made all claw marks on it. Look at the back, falling off. I mean, that could be glued, I guess. But it's just, I was gonna say, I feel like he doesn't even need one this big, but it's actually pretty full. He has a lot of jewelry in here. I've organized this so many times. It's just, sometimes you just have to give it up. <laughs> this tissue box is from Amazon. Been a minute since we've wiped down this dresser as well. Also bonus, if you leave some extra room at the top of your cart, you can collect things along the way, like extra cups, you know, that are laying around. Bring the garbage with you to empty out. Oh, dusty. Okay, in the bathroom, get my clothes out of here. Let's empty out this mini garbage. I'm just gonna go around right now to, oh, hi. And grab all the garbages out of all the rooms. Empty them out, please, this room. Oh boy. There's one in my office. And then we have the hallway bathroom. Okay, it's all our mini garbages. Oh wait, there's one more. Laundry room. Wow, why was it like so satisfying? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna put them all back in their designated rooms. I'm pretty much out of clean undies, so that's when you know he needs to do a load. All right, it is literally gorgeous outside and I'm sad that I'm not out there, but I will also be sad if I don't clean this house. So we're gonna speed clean the rest of it, tidy up this room, put everything away and do a vacuum and then put the sheets back on the bed. And I need to wipe down the kitchen. We still have so much to do. Okay, let's go.
we got so much done. We are now taking a little pause in the Sunday reset to make some dinner. I'm hungry and I've been tracking Zane's location on his way home. It's taken him so long. He's gonna be so excited to be home. He's gonna be home in about like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna get to start cooking. So shortly after he comes home, we can eat. Tonight we are making HelloFresh roasted garlic and mushroom flatbreads. I added on chicken breast strips to it. I am so pumped. Their flatbreads are like my favorite. They're so delicious. So can't wait to make this. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I work with them every single month. They are a meal kit delivery service. They deliver pre-portioned ingredients directly to your door. It comes in a nice box. It has the stuff to keep it cold. Everything is super, super fresh and high quality. And it just takes out all of the guesswork. You get the recipe card, shows you what it should look like, gives you all of the ingredients, all already measured so you're not wasting any type of ingredients and you also are saving so much time with prep and so much thinking and effort with what are we gonna eat for dinner and then on the back you've got your steps and what little tools you're gonna need it helps get you have a recipe route when you're just making the same things over and over again summer is coming to an end we want to enjoy the last of it and HelloFresh does it perfectly when you need something in a pinch you get a delicious homemade meal it really tastes like you're eating at a restaurant they have 40 chef crafted recipes to choose from every single week so you've got so much variety with something to please everyone there's family friendly there's fit and wholesome you can add on proteins add on sides it's very customizable you can easily select your delivery date or if you're going out of town and you need to skip a week you can also really easily do that as well also if you have kiddos going into to school I can't even imagine the stress of that so at least you can cut out one of your headaches by knowing what's for dinner so let me run you through all of these ingredients and let's get to chopping eight ounces of mushrooms eight ounces of grape tomatoes two cloves of garlic a quarter ounce of chives two tablespoons of Italian seasoning one teaspoon of garlic powder teaspoon of chili flakes two tablespoons of flour one cup of shredded mozzarella eight tablespoons of cream cheese we've got four flatbreads because Zane and I like to get the four person serving because we like leftovers for lunch the next day and 20 ounces of chicken breast strips. We're gonna preheat the oven to 450 and get the racks on top and middle and then we're gonna wash everything and chop everything. Let's start. Okay, top and middle. We got the mushrooms done, just cooked them with Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, olive oil in the skillet. We got the chicken just with some salt and pepper. We marinated the tomatoes in some olive oil, Italian salt and pepper. And that's pretty much everything we've done so far. Now we are gonna get the flatbreads toasting. Oh, we put the garlic in, oh, look at that. Stop, garlic is done. We put the garlic in a little foil. <laughs> and now we're gonna put the flatbreads in the oven to start toasting them before we put all the toppings on. These are gonna go in for about five minutes. Now the mushrooms are getting combined with the tomatoes. Give them a little toss. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Perfect. Okay, I love this Drew Barrymore pan, it's great. Chicken is set aside. Okay, now I lowered the heat, we're gonna make a sauce. Two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna add a whole bunch of stuff. Flour, the garlic powder, and the rest of the Italian seasoning. Let us stir. This is just gonna go for like 30 seconds until it's all browned up. Oh, I have to take the flatbreads out of the... Oh, flatbreads. Oh, they're crispy. Okay, all right. It's fine. Whoops. The timer went off for those a little bit ago and I forgot because I was in the middle of doing the chicken. You know what I just realized real quick too? I forgot to chop the chives. Quick and easy, very satisfying, but don't chop your finger off. Okay, done. All right, this is looking good. We're gonna go in with one cup of water and then all the cream cheeses. 
This is an easy sauce. So all you do is toast the flour with seasonings, add some water and cream cheese, and then some salt and pepper. That's amazing. Like noted, I learned something new and I will be using that. Also, if you haven't noticed, this was all in one pan as well, which is a 10 out of 10 in my book. Less dishes, the better. Oh, this is coming together beautifully. Look at that. Yep. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. All right, some salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna turn off the heat. And we are ready to assemble. The garlic I'm supposed to chop up. Ooh, that actually looks good. So I'm gonna give that a quick chop and then, hello, we're gonna get everything on <laughs> the flatbreads. Oh yum, it's like crispy. product. I'm so happy Zane's home. Hey. Yay. We're gonna sit outside, enjoy the weather, catch up on everything we've missed out on in each other's lives. But first, taste test real quick. They cut it into fours, but I just left it whole. Mm. All I got is the corner and it's good. I actually love the mushrooms too. Mm -hmm. I know, I was actually eating them before. They're good. I was eating them by like the piece. I mean, I'm not surprised. HelloFresh doesn't miss. If you guys want to try out HelloFresh, which you definitely should if you have not already, I have a discount for you. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code 50 Alyssa Rose at checkout to get 50% off plus free shipping. Again, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code 50 Alyssa Rose at checkout to get 50% off plus free shipping. I will have it linked at the top of my description. We're going to set up our little fire pit for the first time. <laughs> we haven't even used it since we moved in. It's been almost a year. That's crazy. It's a nice and perfect night though. The landscaper has moved the hammock over here, but it's actually kind of perfect. You can lay here, fire. Look how pretty. We got it all lit up. Oh, that's amazing. Feels so good too. I got two cushions out for this chair in the shed and there was a massive spider. So that's gonna be all Zane if he wants those other cushions. I'm gonna lay on the hammock. He could lay on it with me too. It's two people, but he just jumped in the pool. He's like, it's freezing, but he wants to jump in one more time. So then he'll go get into comfies. I just got my comfies. I'll show you. I'm not wearing a bra, so we won't uh, show that, but I just put on this little sweat set. I think this is from Boohoo. I got it a while ago, but I figured it would be cozy comfy. We're gonna hang outside out here for a bit. Got my Kindles, Zane's gonna watch his tennis match. Just relax. It's like the first time we've done this at the house. Zane's getting chewed up. You getting chewed up? You gotta come by the fire. I'm gonna go get the Cintronella candle too. Do you want to finish that off? I wanna lay on the hammock. You wanna lay on the hammock? And the spider's big. Yeah. He's in chipping again. <laughs> Go! <laughs> I feel like I would have went in. It's not that bad. I would have went in. Yeah? And now I'm in my cozy, so there's no there's no going back now. We both can't wait to take a shower too, so I'm so excited for that. But also, when we go outside, we feel like we smell like outside. So it's perfect that now we can just chill for a little bit, go take a shower, and then get right into bed.
I don't know how much my camera recorded, but it is now 9.36 p.m. It's pitch dark. We just blew out, well, blew out, put out the fire, and we've been laying here for hours. It was so nice. New nighttime routine. It was so relaxing. So nice. Oh, Benji. <gasps> wait, wait. Let me show him. Hello? Are you so upset with us? <laughs> Hi. Meow. You too? Hi. <laughs> Sorry, we were just so relaxed. So peaceful. Hi, Bubba. Yeah. Missed you too. Time for shower and snuggles. Yeah. yeah. A shower for sheets. Okay. My little late night snack is Costco edamame. It's my first time trying it actually. And it's organic, so I'm excited because good edamame has such a good flavor. So I hope that this is gonna satisfy. I wanted like a salty snack. <gasps> I know exactly what I'm gonna put it in. I have this Tupperware that has like a separation. Oh, it smells good. Very promising. That's a lot, wow. All you have to do is microwave it for two minutes and 30 seconds. Now I can put my little shells on this side. I'm gonna put some fresh Salt on top. Oh, yum. Also, it is official. Zane and I had this shot before. Uh, it is official. I canceled my extension installation appointment. The natural hair is staying. I'm so happy about it. A little dungeon in here. The AC blessing. Oh, fresh sheets. Yay. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Last night was honestly so nice. Now I wanna do that like whenever we can, go out and sit by the fire on the hammock. I read my books, Zane watched his tennis match, and then we just like sat there and just like chatted, staring at the stars for a while. It sounds so cheesy, but it was so cute. And then took like the nicest shower. I just like quickly blew dry my hair yesterday. It is looking so much thicker. Like I'm so proud of my hair progress. Very, very happy with it. Also, the Costco edamame was a 10 out of 10. It was so good, and the serving size was huge. It was such a good late night snack. It felt good, you know, like nice and healthy, something light going into my body. I just got into a little Amazon workout set. It's doing wonders for the girls. It's just like a ribbed uh, biker short with the top. Today is leg day, so we're gonna get that in. First, I need to go do my um, morning routine, take all my stuff, write down my grateful's. I've been having a slow morning, but I just had a lot going on last week. I just needed to chill in bed for a little and recover on this Monday. So yeah, let's start with that. Happy Monday. on like a vacation or something. It was so relaxing. Grateful for a clear pool. We finally got it all together. I think it was that Amazon stuff that we bought. Last time I'm gonna put balance because I feel like it was super fun to have like a busy week and be doing stuff all the time. And I'm also ready to have a slower week. Without the busy days, you wouldn't appreciate the slow ones, you know? It's like without bad days, you wouldn't really appreciate the good ones because every day would be good. And it would just be like not exciting. That's probably not the right quote, but it's something like that. Would you like some morning love? You do? Let me see this boy. Oh my goodness. What's more new love? Belly? Belly does. Oh, morning love. That's such a good belly. Bailey is jealous. Look how sweet this baby is. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, done. Your turn, Bailey. Okay. Ow, please don't latch on my shoulder. Morning, love. Benji's jealous. <laughs> Morning, mugs. What a cutie. Oh, I love her. Okay, now you all have your love. <sighs> Mommy's gotta go work out. Squeeze me. I have a brand new cycle today, which I'm very excited about because after a while you get sick of doing the same thing over and over again And as soon as I start to get sick, it gets changed up, which is amazing. So this is everything that we're gonna do today. Yay <laughs> Start with 10 minutes on the bike. 
Oh, I forgot to put socks on. And I'm in my slippers. <laughs> okay, I have to go do that. But um, I just looked on my Amazon. This actually didn't come in a set, I don't think. This came with like a different top. So, but it's both Amazon. All right, I got my hair clipped up. I got the socks and sneakers on. Got my ice roller. Now we're ready. fresh leftovers having some ice cream now oh i almost just spilled it i'm gonna read a little bit more and then i need to post a reel so i figured i'd do it for my hammock like why not i have the luxury of working from the backyard so nice are we ready for an Alyssa's corner book review i finished my book i sat outside i had myself a little midday serotonin boost you know i just was feeling it it was beautiful out and i was really enjoying my book and i was like i was gonna stop and go work and then i was like i'm almost at the end so i might as well finish it so now i can give you guys a book review this was regretting you by colleen hoover i have one more book left by her it's called never never it's actually a collab book with another author her name is Taryn something Taryn Fisher I could be totally wrong on that but excited to read that one I think that one's more of a thriller this one was more of like a love story kind of so first of all gave it five stars five out of five stars I really really loved it it had me hooked right from the beginning one of her just like a typical Colleen Hoover book it was just so good the twists and turns so basically this is about a mother daughter um it goes each chapter is in each perspective so it's switched back and forth so it switches back and forth between Morgan and Clara their names are I like to look at the back to make sure I'm not spoiling anything for you guys but basically Morgan and Clara Morgan's the mom Clara's the daughter um they're just not very similar at all they butt heads and you know clara has these big dreams and her mom just wants her to build a more predictable like sustainable life and clara kind of wants to chase her dreams her mom got pregnant with her very young she doesn't want her to make, make those same decisions as her um and then all of a sudden morgan's husband clara's dad gets into a tragic accident and it kind of changes everything and morgan and clara have a really hard time just like coming to decisions and getting along and just seeing eye to eye on everything they're just having a really hard time and then clara starts to really like this boy she's in high school she's 17 but morgan the mom doesn't really want her to be around him so it kind of falls into this love story of the daughter with this guy but then there's a bunch of lies coming out and they just have a hard time finding common ground and they're lying to each other and the daughter is like tell me the truth and she eventually finds out the truth and it's just a whole web of lies and love so i really really enjoyed it hopefully i gave you like a good synopsis on it such a good book now on to never never and then i am officially done with Colleen Hoover I have so many recommendations and books on my Goodreads from so many different people so I'm really excited to dive into a whole bunch of other authors I think the next one that I'm gonna dive into is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden I've heard so much hype about it so I think I'm gonna go on to that book and it's a two book series so that'll be cool I think I'll probably read them on my Kindle if they're on Kindle Unlimited and if I really like the book I'll order the physical copy if I end up not liking the book I guess I don't really need the physical copy you know so I think I'll read them on my Kindle first and add to my collection the physical copy I know I'm crazy I don't need them but I like having my collection especially I got these built-ins like I want them all on my shelf if I'm gonna spend money on the book I want the physical one instead of buying it on the Kindle and having a digital copy so that's how my brain works anyways but yeah absolutely loved this book so good so zane's birthday is coming up literally this saturday we're having a birthday party for him so i was like you know what i want to make the backyard like really nice get some nice lights for back there and just spruce it up a little bit so i ordered some stuff on amazon actually this is not lights this is for the party we're actually having it for amani and zane his brother his brother's turning 22 zane's turning 25 as you get older you can't remember anymore i'm like am i 26 am i 25 i don't even remember <laughs> um zane and i are six months apart so he's turning 25 and i'm turning 26 in february but him and his brother are the 25th and 26th of august but a few years apart but they have like a day apart which is cool so we're gonna throw a party for both of them i got this to top the cake with i'm gonna get a carvel ice cream cake because that's 
pretty much both of their favorites and then zane's mom is making stuff my mom's gonna bring a salad zane's mom is gonna make um slutty brownies some cookies like we're gonna get all his favorite stuff he prefers cookies i think over ice cream cake but i'm like we need a cake to sing happy birthday so we'll do chocolate chip cookies and slutty brownies he loves and he'll be valid but obviously they both play tennis amani he lives breathes tennis is what he does for his job so i thought that that was cute little topper on the cake and then here are the lights that i got oh there's not gonna be much to see i guess don't worry you guys know i'll be vlogging setting everything up but i got these that go onto the fence so there's 12 of them and we can line the fence and it'll just add some light to the backyard they're solar which is cool so we're gonna set those up they going to have diy dad come sometime this week to help set stuff up because these we're gonna need help with. I wanna put these string lights, these are solar panel string lights too, so we don't have to plug them in anywhere, cause I wanna put them over the pool. Like going across from our fence to the side of our house, I wanna put them above the pool, I think that'd be so cool. So this stuff is gonna go in the built-ins. I also got something else for the pool that I'll show you guys. I got it a while ago. And now I'm so happy because our pool is actually clear, so we'll definitely be able to use it all. <laughs> Don't worry, I caught them all. Here's our little like pool cabinet in the built-ins. So I got this, it's like a light show for the pool. I thought that would be cool. So I'm trying to add just like a little bit of fun stuff. So I'll put all these in here for right now. And then those can get set up this week. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm gonna make some Costco dumplings and get a little bit of editing done for tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow's pretty free, I'll have a lot of time to edit, but I'm like, if I can get some of it done today, that would be nice. I love these dumplings from Costco, so good. Whew, it is 10.37, I have been editing for way too long. I'm like, one more clip, one more clip, one more clip. Okay, we have literally all the time in the world tomorrow to finish that off, but I got all of the editing done, like all the rough clips. Now I just need to go in and like add some clips from my phone, do like little, um, like, you know, the little days of the week on the screen, all the stuff like that. Make the thumbnail, links, we'll do it tomorrow, right? But that's great, I got way ahead on that for tomorrow. I'm gonna take a super fast body shower because I have been in these workout clothes literally all day. I feel like itchy. Don't look at all of our towels, don't judge us, okay? Oh, by the way, Zane cleaned the bathrooms today too, so the Sunday reset has been complete now. This house needed it so bad. And next week, I have to mop. This week, I didn't have it in me, but it needs to be done. Actually, perfect, I can mop after Zane's birthday party. Great time to mop. Let's get the setup going. All fresh and clean. I'm just making myself a little bite. I wanted grilled cheese, so I made a little one. It is actually so good. Why does just simple food slap? So fire. And then I put some potatoes in the air fryer. They might be done. I'm gonna put some truffle seasoning on them. That's my that's my meal. Girl dinner. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm gonna end you guys off here in a little bit and start a new vlog. I've been a little bit behind because of all the traveling and everything. I really like to film on the weekends, get that up on Friday, film during the week, get that up on Tuesday. But I've just like fallen behind because I haven't gotten as much footage because I've just been, you know, vacationing, living summer life. So um, yeah, usually I end this vlog on a Sunday. Here we are on a Tuesday, but this is the getting my life together vlog. So I figured we'd put away the laundry that we started because I never did. Could have fooled you, right? Could have just ended the vlog, pretend I already put it away, but I didn't. So we're gonna do that. This is the load of laundry that all my undies are in. So luckily I had a pair for today, but <laughs> we need them put away now. I got up today and actually ran a straightener through my hair so I look a little more presentable. I still really want to curl it. I have yet to, but I don't want to put like extra heat like wrapping around a curler. You know, a straightener takes two seconds just to get the frizz down and I feel like it's way less heat on my hair. But when I have some sort of occasion or something, I definitely want to try curling my hair. Actually, we have Zane's birthday coming up. We're going to dinner this week. So maybe I'll do it for that, a little test run. I mean, not that I've, I've curled my hair without my extensions. I've actually, I have more hair now, so I think it'll look even better, and I'm excited for that. Zane is going to the US Open this morning, so I'm gonna drop him at the train station with his cousins. It's like the free week, like anyone can go for free, which is really cool, so they're gonna go do that. I got work to do and everything, so I'm gonna stay here. I would have liked to go though, but I'm trying to be responsible. <laughs> Because let's be honest, I did read for hours and hours yesterday on a Monday that I should have been working. And if I did work, 
Maybe I would have been able to go to the US Open today, but I didn't know that they were gonna go until the last minute. So, you know, it is what it is. They're here, baby. Ready to dip? I am ready to dip. Let's do it. Pause. <laughs> All right, I just got back from dropping them off. Jerry should be here any minute. We're gonna record the podcast and then I'm gonna get the rest of my day going. I'm gonna start a new vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring. I'm literally gonna make another one tonight. Already took out the chicken to defrost and I'm very excited about it. Hope you guys enjoyed getting my life together with me. Next video is gonna be all Zane's birthday prep. We have to put up all those lights. I have a newly rental haul for you guys, so stay tuned. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Ah! My God, Alyssa. Woo! Dang it. <laughs> Cat food. <coughs> Damn. Just gotta pick off the last cooking's crumbs. <laughs> Whoa. With a cart, you can collect things around. What? I ate a piece. Mm. Oh, God. So I was like, you know what? I want to make the bag. What?